Hello everyone, Not left here. Today we're in Godot version 4.1.1 stable and we're going to try exporting to Android. Uh, so what we're going to start off with is a very, very basic scene. We're just going to put some random text on a label and we're going to try getting this onto our Android device. I'm using my Android S9 uh, Plus uh, and let's get straight into it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to save the scene so that we can run it. So we're going to run it once just to make sure, clicking F5 to run and we can see everything work. After that, we're going to go to project and uh, export. We're going to click add Android. Once we have that, we see a lot of errors. So no export template found at the expected path. Um, okay, let's go manage export templates, uh, download and install. I'll come back once this is done. Once that's done, um, you can just exit out and you can see that we no longer have that issue. Um, it should automatically install once you click download, uh, as it did for me. And that's basically all there is to it. Now we're going to try filling in this information over here to make sure we can export our stuff. So let's start with custom template. We don't need to worry about that. Gradle build will come back to this stuff. Architectures, if you want, you can click this one as well. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure this ARM64 is selected. Key store, we'll get to that. Code name and, uh, sorry, versions, uh, you can uh, worry about when you're actually publishing your app. Unique name. So basically how this works is it's like a reverse website. So usually you do com. My company name is Land Labs or my like username is Land Labs. And then you put the game name at the end. That's generally how people do it. Game name is, I don't know, test export, whatever the hell you want. Sign, sure, category if you want. And then uh, the rest really doesn't matter. These are launcher icons that you literally use as PNGs that you make. Um, we're not working with XR. Leave everything else as is. And these are permissions, like if you need location or vibration, I believe there's some things that, uh, yeah, vibration, or if you need certain things, you'd come here and select them for your game. I'm not going into that, but I'll just tell you that they're, that they are there. So now how do we actually export? So we can see that we have some sort of issue over here where it says, uh, enable textures. So we have to go to our project settings to enable that ETC2 ASTC. So we're going to go to our project settings to enable that, uh, ETC2. Textures enable. We're going to save and restart. We're going to save and restart. And we're going to go to export and we're going to try exporting our project. Um, we're going to try exporting into a certain part. Like, uh, so we're basically going to try exporting into this uh, folder over here. Over here, I have a over here. I have a blank folder which I'm going to export my um, file to. And we're just going to click save and we're going to try actually making the APK. Now we might get a few issues while doing this. Um, Oh, okay. So it says that we had some issues. We have to install a couple things and we're going to go basically search up Godot for Android. And we're going to, there are a few things we have to install. And according to the Godot documentation, we're just going to follow it as is. So open, J we have to install open JDK 11. You can, if you want, and I did the same thing. If you want to, you can, if you want to, you can also install um, 11 or 17, which is the current uh, latest version. You can do both. It doesn't really matter which one you do. It doesn't really matter which one you do. It just matters that it's installed. You have to make sure it's installed. After that, we're going to try installing the Android SDK. What you want to do is install Android Studio. It's not that hard to install and set up. But once you have Android Studio set up and running, if you want, you just have to make a blank application and I can actually walk you through how to do that. It's very simple. Uh, but essentially, uh, when you're making a new application, it doesn't matter what you do. Just select empty or no activity, actually. Um, just rush through everything. It honestly does not matter what you click here. Um, and you're basically presented with a new project, uh, a new, you're basically presented with a new project up here in the top, right? You'll see SDK manager. You want to click it and you want to make sure you have the latest Android APIs installed. Um, if we just sort by API level over here, we can see that I have Android 13 installed or it's an update is available. And I also have Android, uh, 30 like, API level 34, but then that would be called Android 14, I assume so. But essentially you want to click apply. Uh, I'll say you install extra stuff and it will basically download and install the Android SDK. What's the Android SDK? It basically allows you to make Android apps. That's all you have to really know what it, like that's all you really have to know. Th I'll leave this running and I'll come back when this is done. Once your Android SDK is installed, make a note of where it actually is stored because we want to copy this location. So I just control C copy this. I'm going to go back to Godot. I'm going to go to editor settings and I'm going to just search up SDK. I'm going to click Android and I'm just going to copy paste my path. In. That's important because now we can actually export our stuff. If you were getting an error message before, if you didn't have a valid SDK path, you might have been getting an error message saying SDK path is required. That's easily fixed. That once you have the SDK, that's easily fixed by once having the SDK path here, you can have no issues with actually 
running or uh, getting this uh once you have the SDK path, it's there's generally no issue there. Once that's done, we can go back to the Android, um, the Godot docs, and we can see that um, we have to create a debug key store. Um, we can easily do that. So we want to go over here, uh, copy, and we're going to go to let's go to our let's go to our Android exports over here and just uh, type in CMD over here into the command line, and you can see that we have direct access here. I'm basically going to. Uh, paste if you don't know how to paste you can do shift insert or edit um, and then paste and we're basically going to leave this as is but if you want to customize it your android debug key right look how over here it says alias android debug key keep that in mind and key pass android that's very important because this is the name that we're going to put into Godot and this is the password i'm going to leave it as default because it doesn't really matter to me but you might want to change it up for your own thing i click enter and after a second or two, it will generate a debug key store. As you can see over here, I'm going to go back to Godot and I'm going to go to my key stores. A key store is basically how you can tell Android like, oh, this is my application and it's mine. It's not someone else's. This is how you verify the authenticity of an application in Android, at least. That's how I understand it. We're gonna, I'm just going to copy this path over here. Uh, da -da. Just going to copy path. I'm going to copy this path over here. I'm going to go to debug and I'm just going to paste my thing over here. I'm going to paste the path over here and I'm going to click debug key store and debug user. If you remember, if we look over here, alias, alias means name and debug user, the same idea. You just want to copy paste what you put over here right after this word. So I'm going to copy paste and put that there minus the space and password is Android. As you can see over here, the password is Android. And now that works perfectly fine. We can actually export everything and test it on our phone. You can see over here, I have the ability to test on my Samsung S9 Plus. I'm actually going to record at the same time. Uh, so in like one second, I'm gonna to switch to my iPhone. Uh, and you can see over here that uh, we have our Samsung over here. This is a Samsung, um, ignore the screen protector, but basically when I click up, well, it just disconnected, but it's back. Um, when I click, uh, we can see that it's running. And in a second, uh, we'll, we'll see that once it's all done building and whatnot, uh, installing the device. And we will see in one second uh, that it will launch and it should crash, maybe, theoretically. Okay, there we go. And now you can see we have text. Um, that is the same text, if you're wondering, that we have over here. So we have a success. That is Android exporting. But most people will leave the video here and say, it's time to actually, who can, who knows? They'd say, okay, you now know how to export to Android. Have a great day. That's not what we're going to do at all because we're going to do a few other things. I'm going to tell you about how to actually get it onto the Google Play console. So I have a developer account where I publish apps on the Google Play store. This is my developer account. I'm showing you everything. Um, I don't get a lot of installs. I'm not going to lie, but that doesn't matter because we're going to make a test app for your YT for Godot 4. And it is a app free, um, blah, 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 except I'm going to create the app and we're going to try giving Android um, a version that we can, or we're going to try giving Google a version that we can upload onto the Google Play console because that's where you probably want your game to go. I'm showing you how to do that. So you want to go to production, you want to create new release and oh, drop app bundles. Hmm. Okay. We didn't make an app bundle. So let's go do that. So we're going to go back to our thing um, and we're going to try exporting again export project and we we see apk and aab we want to export aab um so let's basically export aab well oops it looks like we have an issue android apk requires oh, okay that's weird um let's see uh you actually have to go up and you have to go export aab that's the format you have to export and it says oh it only works with gradle builds so, okay we'll click gradle build um okay uh now we can't export project because android build template is not installed in the project install it from project menu I'm basically showing you like how I would do this if I was working by myself. I'm just reading the errors and Googling as I go. Okay, that worked. Uh, let's go back to export, export project, export Android AAB, export without debug, of course. It could not find a key store. That's an issue because we really don't have a release key store. That's fine. Let's go back to the Godot documentation and see what they say about it. Setting up in Godot, we kind of did this. Um, you don't have to do this. I mean, you could do this as well, but... Uh, uh, there are like ways to just put it into um, the the export that you're working with. Uh, oh, it says exporting for Google Play Store down here. Um, okay, uh, it, sees, it seems that it helps us make a key store for 
um, and it helps us make a key store for Google Play. So we can actually go do that and um, in like any sort of file or directory, just type in CMD again over here. So now we're going to make a release key store and you can basically do that by typing in this command. Notice how this is going to be the key store file name. So mygame.keystore, kind of how we have debug.keystore. Alias that we're going to be putting into the Godot system is right here, alias mygame. The, the alias or alias over here is going straight into a uh, release user. And where's the password? Well, we'll see where the password is. So let's just click enter password. I'm going to type in password, password again, uh, name Nad Labs. Um, just type in some random stuff here. It doesn't really matter. Um, sure. Okay, wait, I guess I have to actually answer. Um, and I just put two letters. Um, you should actually answer these if you're making a proper key store, but I don't really care uh, because uh, what is your first name? Netflix. Okay, yes. Um, everything is correct. Hmm. Oh, when it asks you over here, you just type in yes, and then it generates. Uh, I was kind of rushing through it, but you can see that I was looking at an error and I was trying to understand it in real time. There we go. It worked. If we go back to our assist um, file over here, we can see my name, my game dot key store. I'm basically going to be copying this over here and showing the exact same thing. So over here. My game dot keystore select release user. What was release user? If we go back to our command prompt, it says my game. So I'm going to do my game and my password was password export project. Um, we're going to export it for Google play for Google play. We're going to do a, we're going to select a, a, B. We're going to save. It's going to give us some fancy text messages over here. Telling us it's installing fancy stuff. If this doesn't work, you can always leave a comment and ask what's up. I'll try my best to answer. Although Android is very finicky. If you didn't see that for like half a frame, it did export. And we can see over here, we have an Android app bundle AAB. We're going to copy, not this path, but we're going to copy, uh, where is it? Uh, we're going to copy this path and we're going to go to Google play, um, the Google play console. We're going to click upload. Uh, we're going to, we're going to paste in our path and we can see we have the Android export for Google play. And what are we going to see? Hopefully it works. If it takes time, it usually means it works. That's what I've noticed, but we're going to see that we can actually, you know, upload to Google play. And then you can like fill out a trillion questions to get your game up on Google play. So we'll see how this works. Hopefully it works. <laughs> uh... Should work any second now. I'm showing you in like real time. Like I'll leave a timestamp somewhere in the, like the bottom of this video. Oh, okay, there we go. And it works. So we can click save as draft and uh, next steps. And you can see that we basically have errors that, oh, okay. You should put the advertising ID or publish because you have to list stuff on app or government app or privacy policy and blah, blah, blah. And then you can go work with Google Play. But I showed you how to get a game up and running on your phone and then always on to Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. Have an amazing day. Hello everyone, Nat Left here, and I am recording this video at 1.37 p.m. And I'm going to open up a brand new Godot um, version so I can show you from scratch how does Android Godot 4 work. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna just make a random Android export. Uh, we're gonna create a folder. Um, I'm gonna see how we can set this up. Hopefully stuff doesn't carry on from the last one, but we'll see. Okay, that works. Okay. 